Good afternoon, good afternoon everybody, NC Firefighter here, welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. We are in the Cessna 172 with uh, floating gear, and we are at Pompano Beach Air Park in Pompano Beach, Florida, which for those of you that did not know, this is my original hometown. I am from South Florida. We are in uh, the uh, Cessna Skyhawk 172 with floating gear. We are now water landing capable. So today I'm going to show that off and I'm going to show you a little bit of my hometown and where I am from. First things first, however, let's crank on the air conditioning because it's probably flipping hot. Nav light, beacon light can come on. We do not have a destination currently. We're just going to fly around for a little bit. Uh, fuel pump can come on for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna take one Test notch of flaps. Test. Okay. Clear prop. Pompano Beach Ground, Cessna November 321 Papa Lima requesting pushback. Cessna November 321 Papa Lima pushback request accepted. Oh, on that taxi light. Release parking brake. Hope everybody's been good. Hope everybody's had a wonderful week. It is currently 33 degrees Celsius in Pompano. Right now, I am running the uh, G1000. Mod from... Uh, The marketplace, which is the free one, for those of you that are curious. Pompano Beach Ground, Cessna November 321 Papa Lima requesting the end of pushback. Cessna November 321 Papa Lima request to end pushback received. Pompano Beach Ground, Cessna November 321 Papa Lima with echo request taxi for takeoff departing straight out. Cessna November 321 Papa Lima taxi to an halt short of runway 10 using taxiway Bravo Alpha cross runway 6 Alpha. Contact tower on 125 decimal 4 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 10 via taxiway Bravo Alpha cross runway 6 Alpha Cessna 1 Papa Lima. pretty heavy on the payload. We are carrying three passengers and 60% full fuel tanks. As we can see, there is some storms in and around the area. Trying to 
figure out why you have your lights on there, buddy. As said, this is my home airfield. This is where I am from. Beach Tower Cessna November 321 Pop Lima at runway 10 ready for departure departing straight out. Cessna November 321 Pop Lima altimeter 30.0.116 at 17. Departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 10. Cleared for takeoff runway 10 Cessna 1 Pop Lima. You can tell on the uh, landing gear that we do have uh, or on the uh, floats we do have rudders for steering in the water. This is now a water capable aircraft. It is reinforced for water landings. You will notice a lot of reinforcement that the normal plane does not have. And we will now go full power. We will keep the nose down until we reach about 70 knots. Positive rate. Flaps will come up. We are now. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. I will take y'all in and around my hometown. If you guys are curious about how I ended up in North Carolina or that whole story, feel free to ask in the comments. So this is Federal Highway, or U.S. Route 1, that we are over. This street off to the left here is Northeast 10th Street. This little building right here is Pompano Beach Fire Rescue Station 24. Down for runway 90. Here's down for runway 90. Here's down for runway 90. Why did you... Here's down for runway landing. Thank you. So, this is a golf course that parallels the airport. I'm going to stay relatively uh, in or around a thousand feet for now while I show you all the sights. If you've never been to South Florida, I can tell you that this is pretty much what it looks like. <laughs> Y'all see, this is Northeast 10th Street. We will fly back up. Stop. Stop. Pompano Beach Fire Rescue Station 24. I spent a little time as an explorer. It has access out the back of the station onto the airfield. 
This is just a GA airport. However, they do have a FedEx base here, so they do get large jets. And there is a Blimp base over here. It's not quite legit like it is in the real world. But if you come over here, this is actually a hangar for the Goodyear Blimp for South Florida. It's based in Pompano. So we will uh, go ahead and swing back this way. And like I said, you can see this is Pompano Fire Rescue Station 24 off to uh, Right here, it has a driveway with access right out of the back of the station onto the airfield. Those of y'all that are curious about where I went to elementary school at, this is Pompano Beach Community Park right here, Pompano Beach Community Pool, the Pompano Beach Amphitheater. And I went to school right here. This is Pompano Beach Elementary, all right here. And then you come over here, and this is Pompano Beach High School, all right here. I did not go to high school at this high school, however. So we will swing back out. This is Dixie Highway and railroad tracks. So those of y'all that are curious, I need to find it again. This is Atlantic Boulevard. This little building right here is a So we will uh, I'm trying to get y'all into a position where I can show you where I lived. And then we will end with a water landing. So, I lived, oh, I gotta find it,
so... I lived right here where my mouse is in that duplex, right there with the pool in the backyard. That's where I lived. I'll take you out to the west part of the city now, let you all see. Uh, follow Atlantic Boulevard West for a little bit. We are crossing this is Atlantic Boulevard across the Dixie Highway. We are coming up now on Atlantic Boulevard and I-95. So, when I got to high school, I had to move. So the next big intersection here is going to be is uh, Atlantic and Powerline Road. This next intersection here is Atlantic and Northwest 27 Avenue. To the left it becomes Southwest 27 Avenue. And we are going to swing back around. This is coming up where my mouse is over right here is Pompano Beach Fire Rescue Station 52, where I spent several years as an explorer too. And if I continue to follow Northwest 27 Avenue. where this baseball field is. This baseball field and all this right here is Cross Creek High School. This is where I went to high school at. All right here. Back behind it and next to it is an elementary school. I don't remember the name, unfortunately. I have not been to my hometown since 2003 when I left, so. Not everything is spot on. Cessna 1 Pompalima traffic is 12 o'clock, 3 miles at 5,200 feet Airbus A20S. Report this night. But that's where I went to high school at. If I follow back toward and over to school and to the right, this road here is Hammondsville Road slash Martin Luther King Boulevard. 
And if we go here, this is access to the Florida Turnpike, which is the toll road that runs all the way through Florida. But now I will uh, go ahead and we'll head back out toward the coast. And we'll show y'all a water landing. So we will go gear up. And you will see the gear fold up. start to turn back toward the left onto Atlantic Boulevard. And back over I-95. As soon as you cross over I-95, you have an off-ramp, and then you have, not quite. You've got Dixie Highway right here. And then, I'm trying to, not this one, but this right here is Cypress Road. If we go back to the right, on Cypress Road, we can come back in here, and this is Pompano Beach, where the Pompano Beach Town Hall is, the Sheriff's Department, and Pompano Beach Fire Rescue Station 63 is in here as well. And we will break hard left. real quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut my pump on. I'm going to come back on the power to about 70%. And we're going to start to come down. We are set for water landing. and it's a little bumpy in the water so that is the Pompano Beach Pier coming off right there now this is a seaplane <laughs> It is not necessarily designed for water. Miami approach spirit wings one zero seven nine or heavy is missed approach at Fort Lauderdale. Spirit wings one zero seven nine or heavy or one miles northwest. Climb and maintain two thousand five hundred feet. Expect ILS runway one zero left approach. So we are transition. going to descend. Along Hillsboro Beach, that's the Hillsboro Inlet, which is how you get into the intercoastal waterway from uh, the ocean. Climb to maintain 2,500 feet, expect ILS runway 10 left approach via Pyro Canyon. This is all Hillsboro Beach right here. Wings 1079 are heavy. It is windy. And the goal of a water landing
get about 50 feet above the water, kill your power, and just kind of glide down. You cannot stop, so you have to have... have room. And you will bounce some. Not quite the way I wanted it to. Alrighty then. Well, I also did not put any flaps down, so I, we are dead, but <laughs> or drowning. But I hope you all enjoyed the dramatic ending to this video. We'll see you Friday with something new. Make sure you give it a like and share your thoughts in the comments. That's my hometown, NC Firefighter. Out.